Hi everyone, Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be making whimsy art muses and we're going to be doing this straight into an art journal. And these are inspired by both um, the artwork of Little Raven Ink and also by the collage work from Tisha Moore. If you haven't checked out Tisha Moore's artwork, I'd suggest you um, Google it. You can find lots of her beautiful images. I have gotten inspired by Tisha Moore and explain more about her artwork style and Little Raven inks in one of my previous videos. So you can check that out under the Inspired by playlist as well. So I'm starting in my Large Dilutions journal and it, this is a, an old use it up page. I would sort of put old stencils onto it and I wanted to go back into it. The colour in the background gave me the inspiration for the colours that I'm using. So I'm using Dilutions Paint and then Pure Sunshine and Bubblegum Pink. Uh, the Dilutions Paint is a more uh, fluid acrylic and it dries really, really quickly. But I still hit it with a heat gun just so I can sort of keep moving on and, and doing what I'm doing. The great thing about using acrylic paints is that they layer over the top of each other really well when they're dry and they retain the pigment and the colour. So you can see that that yellow, sort of orangey yellow, is still standing up on the pink. On the yellow side I'm going to use a pink and this gives a real contrast in colour and pop of colour. The stencil I'm using is one from the Crafters Workshop and I really love this stencil because it is so haphazard and random. I'm, I've got a thing for dot stencils I have to say. I never thought I would but they do come in really handy. I just like that sort of scatter pattern in the background. So again I'm going in and heating it up with the heat gun just to dry it off and make sure it's all uh, ready to stamp on. Now I'm just going into my other little use it up journal which is the miniature dilutions journal and just cleaning off my paintbrush and my stencils. You can see I don't clean off my stencils all that brilliantly but just to get any excess paint that's sitting on the top cleaned off. So my idea for this page really was I've been in a bit of a, a slump personally with my artwork for a little while and it was starting to just get really uh, dark colours or a bit grungy and I just wanted something really bright and happy and cheerful in my journal. Uh, just to chase all the blues away and make sure that it was uh, something really happy to look at. And these two colours make me really happy to look at them. Just the backgrounds itself cheer me up immensely. The other thing that I've really loved at the moment is in the last few weeks I did a video on making 3D Art Muse dolls. And I've got about four of them sitting around my shelf at the moment looking at me when I'm doing my artwork. They really inspire me, they cheer me up, I look at them and think, wow, I really love those. So I wanted something like that in my journal that I could sort of, when I flip through it, I can see it there in my journals when I'm on the go. So I wanted to create one in my journal as well. So what I'm doing is I'm starting off creating a board of my pages. So I've got my um, collage box of just random scraps of paper. A lot of the papers that I've got in here are actually uh, scans of previous art journal pages that I've done that I've just chopped up. Uh, there are the use it up pages, so pages I put behind my artwork so excess paint and stenciling and stuff goes on them and I scan those in and uh, print those out as well because I've got some beautiful textures on them. Uh, the piece on the left hand side with the red on it is actually the, the actual uh, piece of paper that I used to stick in journal, so not a scanned piece, so it's got a really great amount of texture. That red that you can see with the lines on it is actually really textured, which I love as well, so it just adds that little dimension to the page. So I've just got a really wide double-sided tape that I put down, and I'm just going around randomly sticking these slices of collage on my page. I'm not too concerned if they're not glued down perfectly because like I'm doing with the piece I'm, you're seeing me put tape on at the moment, I'm going to go back over and put some anchoring pieces. So that piece sort of anchors three of the collage pieces down just to make sure that they stay there. If you're really concerned about it, you can go over with some matte gel medium afterwards just to make sure everything's glued down really well. I'm not particularly worried if things just lift up a little bit. I just think of it as extra texture, um, but it just adds to it. 
I am doing two pages at once because when I was doing this I wasn't 100% sure how many pages I was going to do or if I had time to do more and I figured seeing I had my box out I might as well do two pages so I, I've at least got the border for another page. Once I've finished this journal I've actually got an idea for a quote that I'm going to put on the, on the pink page but I haven't quite got there yet. The other thing I'm using to stick things down is a piece like this which is actually some collage that I've done, scanned into my computer and printed out onto sticker paper. I've been using a lot of sticker paper uh, recently in my artwork. Because I'm part of the Inky Patre uh, yeah, Little Raven Ink Patreon tribe, a Courtney Diaz pa patron, she has a lot of collage printables that come out every month and I've since learnt that printing them straight onto sticker paper is just such a lifesaver. So I've started when I scanned some of my own artwork stick, um, printing on sticker paper as well because I don't need to worry about adhesives, particularly wet glues in journals. It just sticks down and I don't need to worry about it. It makes doing stuff like this as well really, really quick. So what I'm doing is obviously starting off with some legs. These are some of Courtney's legs. Um, very Christmas vibes and I love how the, the contrast in colour. You can see I've actually set set the legs into the border and with this I'm quite happy with stuff going into the border because it anchors the doll itself to the page. It means it's not floating in midair. So the little strip of paper down the bottom I'm pretending is a piece of grass, ground, whatever, that this uh, doll is going to sit on. These are some wings that I've been playing around with that, um, with my collage and uh, watercolours that I've been doing and again I've scanned them in so I've got copies of them and I've stuck them in. The body shape is just a really simple art shape that I've cut out so I can stick it down. Now you do need to think ahead when you're doing these things. If you're doing wings, make sure you've got those stuck down first then you're sticking the body over the top. I did have to stop myself and think about that as I was doing it. When I was doing this, I was really happy with the wings, but I wanted a little bit more. And I've been playing with this stencil from Stamperia a bit, and it was sitting out, and I thought, oh, what, what would it look like if I had double wings? So I just got out the smallest amount of black paint, my makeup sponge, and I just sponged through a second set of wings. And I really like that double wing uh, look. And I like how it goes, again, off into the border. So it sort of all ties it together. Now these dolls and this background are very, very busy. You can certainly calm it down a little bit by choosing the papers that you use. Doing something like this is a great way if you're a scrapbooker or if you've got lots of scrapbooking papers to use up all those different pattern papers or pa papers that you may not want to use on a layout but you think, oh, I still like that pattern. Also any offcuts you have are brilliant for doing these borders. The head that I've just cut out is one of uh, Courtney's heads. It's from a checklist doll. I love this head because it's got that beautiful collar on it and it just fits in perfectly. I thought the, the orange hair and the background matched really, really well. One of Courtney's signature designs, I suppose, when it comes to her whimsical people is having antlers as well. So these are a pair of her antlers that she's got on some of her printable pieces that I'm just going to stick down as um, onto my page as well. Basically I'm just making it as wacky as I possibly can because that's how I was feeling on the day. I just wanted something really offbeat and cute and whimsical to make me smile. So I'm sticking down my antlers and I'm using some wet glue on this because this uh, those had been printed out and the feet had been printed out before I discovered the magic of sticker paper. This is a, a crown that I've just drawn out roughly on a piece of paper and I'm colouring in using uh, gold acrylic paint, uh, acrylic ink. When you put it on straight, as you can see there, it's a beautiful yellow gold uh, ink. But I found when I spread it out with my paintbrush it became very translucent, almost like a glaze. Now it's really nice, it's got a beautiful sparkle in real life. I would have liked it to be a little bit more intense I think. So you could always put uh, for example, a yellow paint in the background and then put the gold over the top to give it a more uh, richness to it. 
in the end I didn't mind it, it and I've added some extra stuff to the crown in the end to make myself a little bit happier about it. Now I'm just going in and doing some fine detail work with Posca paint pens. So using the pink to pop it out the wings from the back of the page and then using some of the other pens to colour in that gorgeous collar that the, the doll had. I also use a pink pen to go around the black wings just to tie them in together and make them look as part of that double wing set. <clears throat> Excuse me. I have this eye floating around as well. I really liked it and I was going to... I think earlier on you saw me put it over her eye. I was going to sort of have this odd eye thing happening. I decided not to do that, but it was still floating around and I wanted to use it in some way. So I've broken it into my washi tape stash. And this is a combination of uh, oh, Dina Wakeley washies, uh, that's where the heart's from, and the little washi across the bottom. And lots of glitter washies. Uh, I think the, the silver one's from Kaiser Craft, the gold one was from Kmart. They're brilliant, but the stick on them isn't fabulous. So you, you may find with, with them you need to put a little bit of extra glue on them. But I just love how they just bring that extra bit of sparkle to the, the body of the doll and just make everything look a little bit more glamorous. I'm also using any of the off cuts and sticking them onto the crown as well. This is a great way. I found that I've had a, a whole heap of washi sitting around for a long time that I don't use very often. Uh, so using them in projects like this I'm really enjoying, particularly the fact that I can sort of tear them up and just use tiny little bits, but make it look like part of a whole. So I'm just going in, adding the glue to the different bits and pieces. I've finally put the eye on. I'm not sure why the eye is sitting over the heart, but I actually just really like it sitting in that circle. It sort of all worked together really, really well. And you can see me adding some extra glue to the washi down the bottom because it's starting to peel up somewhat. These chalk pens are um, sort of the final process just to make the border again feel like a border. I'm just going in with these um, fluoro chalk pens to add some details. They're brilliant because they're a really thick chunky pen and you can stamp them out to get these cool line shapes. You can draw beautiful lines with them. They dry uh, opaque. If you put them on really, really heavily, they will smear. They do have a chalky finish to them, but I found in my journals they're pretty good. They, they haven't caused too many issues at all. Um, you can see me cleaning my pens. I managed to, in the box I had them in, a whole jar of Flow Medium poured over them and melted the plastic, so it was a bit sticky and yuck to work with. So this is pretty much the final piece that I've done, and it it was a really happy experience to make. I really enjoyed making this piece. It was really quick and easy to do, particularly with having so many things just that I could peel off the back and stick down. I decided to finish off this page. I wanted to have a quote on it. So I went to my Tim Holtz snarky stickers and found a quote that said something like, um, when is old enough to know better going to kick in? In the end though, once I actually stuck it down, I decided I didn't like it. So I ended up sticking down a quote from another journal piece I'd done previously, which just simply said she is beautiful, because I think she is. She just really makes my heart sing when I turn to that page. It's just so bright and happy. So this is my whimsical art muse that I've got in my journal. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. I really enjoyed doing this and putting down all those bright colours and having lots of fun slapping down my collage. Please give it a go and let me know if you've done something similar yourself. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!